What's going on YouTube? I am Dr. Tommy Martin, a combined internal medicine and pediatric resident, and today I want to tell you about my journey to becoming a doctor. But before we get to this video, I want you to know that you are greatly, greatly loved, and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created, and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. Let's get to the video. So as we get going, I want to start all the way back when I was in high school. So I went to high school at a tiny, tiny high school, Thayer High School in Thayer, Missouri, Southern Missouri. I graduated with about 55 people, the largest class my school had ever had. We also lived in a town of 2,000 people. So a very small town, very small class, and I graduated there as valedictorian. All throughout high school, I thought I wanted to be a teacher and a coach. I played football, basketball, and baseball, and was dead set. Teacher and a coach would be the best job for me. Have the summers off, literally be coaching all the time, and just love it. Well, we're gonna backtrack a little bit. When I was about 14 years old, I worked with a company that worked with children with autism. On one of my work days, I met this woman, I do not remember her name, but she told me that she had to tell me something and she wanted me to record it on my phone. Thought it was really strange, thought it was really weird, didn't know what was going on. And before we go any further, I'm just gonna say that I am a Christian. I do believe in Jesus Christ. If you have different religious beliefs than me, that is completely 100% fine and we can respect and love one another. But I'm gonna share my story and my journey to becoming a doctor and it does involve my faith. So now we can get going. So this woman, she told me to uh, stop. She wanted to tell me something, record it on my phone. I kind of thought it was a little strange, but I was like, okay, whatever. So she told me that she believed that it was God's plans for me to become a doctor and to go to many nations and heal people. Thought it was a little crazy. Didn't really know what to think of it. I was 14 years old. So I was just like, okay, whatever. Well, never thought about it again. So fast forward to my senior year, gonna be a teacher and a coach. I went on a mission trip to St. Louis, Missouri. And on this mission trip, there was a pastor there who um, after the service asked people that if they wanted to, they can come down to pray. And so I went down there and I was like, I need prayer to figure out what I need to do with my life. I think I wanna be a teacher and a coach. Well, he also prophesied over me, you know, Tommy, that I believe that it's God's plans for you to become a doctor, to go to many nations and heal people in Jesus' name. Well, I again was like, well, I'm going to college now. I don't really know now. I thought I was going to be a teacher and a coach, but this guy just told me that, you know, that he thinks it's God's plan for me to become a doctor. And so I prayed about it a lot. Well, when I got home, my uncle had bought me a new laptop. And on this, when I got this new laptop, I transferred everything from my old laptop onto my new laptop. And when I did that, I saw this audio file. I'm like, oh, that's weird. What is this? Well, that audio file, when I listened to it, it was that woman from like four or five years ago saying, tell me, I believe it's... God's plans for you to become a doctor and to go to many nations and heal people in Jesus' name. And I was blown away. I started crying, didn't really understand, I just couldn't believe it. And so from that day forward, I decided that I was going to be a doctor at all costs. So from high school, I graduated high school as valedictorian. I went to a small college out in Kansas, Salina, Kansas, Kansas Wesleyan University, which I absolutely loved. And I played football there for three years. And throughout my time there, I, I majored in biomedical chemistry. I graduated with a 3.89 GPA in three years. From there, I was like, okay, well, I need to apply to medical school. I hadn't taken the MCAT yet. Didn't really have a pre-med advisor per se, and really didn't know much about the MCAT. Well, I was like, well, I've always made good grades. I studied really hard. I'm just gonna go take the MCAT and see how I do on it. Well, that didn't go over so well. I took the MCAT and did absolutely horrendous, but I'd already applied. I'd already sent all my applications to all the schools in the United States and my MCAT score was just gonna go to them. Well, now that was gonna be pretty embarrassing because I did so poorly on it. So back in the day, we did it on a scale, I think it went up to 36 maybe. Um, well, and you need about a 30 to 32 really to do well. Well, I scored a 17, which is a 486 on the scoring system now, which is so bad. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's no way I'm gonna get into a medical school. I got put on the wait list for one, and then I received an email from St. George's University asking me to apply. I was like, I don't know. I don't know anything about Caribbean medical schools. Well, I talked to my family, and my aunt, who's a doctor, actually, her, someone that she knows who's a big time surgeon, actually went to St. George's. So he kind of gave me a call and said, you should really consider this option. You know, you'll be able to start right away. Um, you won't have to wait a year. You won't have to retake the MCAT, and you could just go and get started. So I was like, okay, I'll think about it. And then, so I applied uh, to St. George's University and then I just prayed about it and tried to figure out what was gonna happen and what 
uh, I should do. Well, throughout this period, I ended up getting accepted to St. George's University, and then I was, you know, distraught about my MCAT score, distraught that I might have to go to Caribbean Medical School, and so again, I was just like trying to ask God what it is that I should do. And as I was doing this, in a time of prayer, the song Oceans by Hillsong came on, and it just seemed like it was on repeat, on repeat, on repeat, on repeat. And where it says, God, take me further than my feet could wander, just kept repeating, repeating, repeating. I'm like, oh my goodness, maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. So I decided, I applied in December, got accepted in the middle of December, and went into the January class. So I went to St. George's University, then in January of 2014. At St. George's University, it was one of the hardest experience I've ever experienced in my life. And I get my butt absolutely kicked and I had to learn how to study and that was distressing and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make it. Well anyway, my second year of medical school at St. George's, things got a lot better. I met my beautiful wife uh, who we ended up finishing medical school together. So we met our second year of medical school and then we finished medical school together. We got married our third year of medical school. Or I proposed our second year and got married our third year of medical school. So we graduated from St. George's University in 2018 and then from there we went through the couples match, which is a crazy stressful period in time, um, especially for all those that are currently going through it. I know how stressful it is, um, but you will get through it. So we ended up couples matching at the University of Arkansas, and now we are in residency. I'm doing combined internal medicine and pediatrics, and my beautiful wife did pediatrics. She is now done with the residency and is working as a pediatric hospitalist, and I am a chief resident now at the University of Arkansas in my last year of residency and trying to figure out what is is next so that's a long story but that is like my whole journey from high school all the way to becoming a doctor and to about to be finishing residency and if you want to see what's next for me I guess you'll have to subscribe and follow along because I don't know yet and I'm still trying to figure it out I have quite a few interviews next week all in the Northeast because we will be moving back to Massachusetts Anyway, let me know if you have any questions and if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please make sure to like it and subscribe so you do not miss any other videos. Before I go, I want you to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you're wonderfully and beautifully created and that you're capable of far more than you could ever imagine.